Hey, Deontay, I'll get started. Good to see you. Joe Person with The Athletic. How you doing today? Good. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Thank you. Um, Will told us earlier this week that uh, there's a pretty good chance that you'd get some action this week. I uh, wonder if you feel like that's going to be the case and, uh, you know, kind of your reaction to that. Uh, yeah, I see myself playing some uh, this game. I don't know for sure how much, but uh, I'm just blessed and glad to have this opportunity to, um, to uh, try to help us get a win. What's this year been like for you? I know you've kind of battled some injuries and, and, and different things like that to, to finally get an opportunity here. Or to, uh, what's your mindset as you try to, you know, leave an impression going into the offseason? Uh, I definitely want to leave a good taste in their mouth when they see me play in live action. Uh, as for the injuries, it really wasn't that big of an issue. Um, this year, I, I took I took on more the role of just listening and and being being a sponge around the older guys. Um, since since I saw that I wasn't going to be playing, I was in the books hard, trying to ask them questions. If there's anything that I can do from a not playing standpoint to help them and also for them to like help me too. Let's go to David Newton, followed by Will Pollack. Hey, Deontay, I appreciate your time today. Uh, you came from a program where you were used to sustain success. Um, Jeff Nixon said today that he thought the Panthers were real close to being a um, a factor in the NFC. What uh, what are you what's your evaluation of that? I thought we have a really good group of guys on all three phases of the ball. Um, <clears throat> it's definitely harder to get wins consistently in the NFL than it is in college, especially when you come from a powerhouse like Alabama. Um, the NFL is just different. Um, that's all I got. When you, when you say different, can you elaborate on that? It's like the guys in college, you have like superstars spread it out, but with like the NFL, every everybody that's starting has been that guy on their team. So it's like a whole bunch of alphas going against each other rather than in college, you'll have a team that's not so good and then a team that is up to your caliber but don't have as good as coaching. Here, everybody has the same great coaching. Everybody has the same great players. And it's just who's going to be better that, that game and who's going to make the less mistakes that game. It's really not about this team is better than this team. Or, nah, we all good. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Deontay, in terms of, you know, you're playing weight right now, the Panther website has you at 335. Is that a weight that they want to kind of keep you at, or they want you to, to try to cut some more? Or where, where, I guess, do you feel like they want you to play at? Uh, that's a weight that we're both good at. I'm still striving to to get as low as I can, honestly. Like, my my weight loss journey doesn't start in the season, and it does, doesn't stop at the end of the season. Like, this is just an ongoing thing for me. Not saying that it's a bad thing, but it's just something that I'm mindful of. So I really don't have a goal weight. 335 has been best for me. That's what I've been good at. That's what I've been feeling more powerful and more explosive. So I really haven't had no complaints. What is the biggest challenge about that journey, number one? And number two, getting used to playing at a – I would think your last weight at Alabama was 350. So, so what's it been like trying to play a, a little lighter? There's not been no disadvantages. The only, only thing it has done is help me. Um, I feel like I can sustain blocks better. I am able to perform athletic moves better and for longer periods of time. And that was just my, my biggest thing coming in is just sustaining what I can do throughout the whole game and not just in spurts. Thanks, man. Let's go to Jonathan Alexander, followed by Darren Gant. Hey Deontay, you may have just answered this question. I was I was going to ask you what what did you say was the biggest adjustment uh, this year, starting from season till till now. If, the biggest that, that you just gave? nah, um, the biggest adjustment to me would be the time that we have to ourselves. Um, just just knowing what to do at that time and how to 
how to section it off to where I get the most out of my day. Um, because back in college, we have almost every every minute calculated out. So coming here and just having to build my own schedule and be on my own well, be on my own time outside of the football schedule things has been the biggest adjustment. And um, do you have any friendly wagers from Monday's game with any of your teammates? No, nah, no, nah, I don't. <laughs> Deontay, Brady was just talking about kind of the physical grind. I mean, 18 weeks of regular season plus training camp, that's longer than anything you guys had to deal with last year in college. What's that been like uh, for you, just the physical toll of doing this for so long? I, w I would say the physical toll on me hasn't been as bad as the ones on uh, the guys that's playing, but – Mine is not really much so physical. It's more mental. Um, just just knowing the ins and outs of the game, just not having to prepare and then prepare all the way through the game and even after the game, that's been one of the biggest things for me. And um, Because, I mean, I'm, I'm used to having, like, 13, 14 game seasons. So, so, like, the season being long hasn't really been that much of a difference. But also, it's just the competition I'm going against and just the different level, it, it makes it harder on the body. Now that's just, you know, yeah. All right, let's go to Ellis Williams. Hey, Deontay, Ellis Williams here, Charlotte Observer. I'm curious, what have you learned about yourself through this season, and, and how are you going to take that into the offseason as you, you know, fight for a spot, starting spot next year? Honestly, I learned that that I do belong here. If that if yeah. that makes sense, yeah. Um, I I think that's just been one of the biggest challenges that that I've had personally is like believing that I can play and play at a high level and play good. And I th I, th I think that I've, I've I've grown more more confidence in my ability to play and be good. I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. And what do, what do you, when you have that internal reflection uh, and you, you project into the offseason now, what areas of your game have you identified that you want to improve on or need to? Uh, I, need to I need to know how to play more positions. Um, so. so I want to learn how to play center this summer. Um, definitely my body keep, keep working on my, my shape and how I, and how I am like physique wise, not just my body weight, yeah. but just how I look while I'm at the body weight. And um, yeah. just just keep on building on my skills as a guard too. Uh, Cause there's, I believe that I can't not like learn. Like there's so much stuff that I can learn to get better at. I just, I'm just have to work.